Hi there, I thought I'd take a moment to show you how to add singing faces to your uh, show. I realize this is probably easy for most of the longtime users of Xlice, but there's lots of new folks who don't know some of these things. So we're gonna cover that real quickly here. So a singing face is usually on, added to something like a tree or a matrix. Um, you of course have singing props, but that's a different issue. I'm gonna go through uh, how to add a singing element to, uh, I'll pick one here. I'll, I'll do it on my matrix garage left. So selecting that from my list, matrix garage left, I'm going to go to faces click on the triple dots. You're gonna get a list here, you, there you go. You're gonna click on add. And unfortunately you have to choose the name before you know what you're gonna put, but we'll just go with Santa. You can always rename it afterwards. Once you do that, it should pop up a list. Oh, Santa, did I click okay? Oh, I guess it's too early for me. I gotta click download images, apologize. So download images, and here you have a list of various singing faces that were uh, uploaded to the Xlice repository. Some of them are kind of old, some of them are kind of cheesy, but uh, you know, you can you can take a look. So Santa, um, let's, I looked at this one. That one looks pretty good. These ones are kind of really simple for maybe like an eight bit tree, like a very small tree. Some of them are very complex. You're gonna do like a P5 or a P10 panel, for example. Um, probably wouldn't look so great on a tree. Um, let's go with this one. Uh, yeah, let's go with this one. Oh, that was done by me. So there you go, insert. So now that we've inserted it, you should see that all of the files, here we just expanded out. You can see that they're all loaded into downloaded faces. We give the name and all the face phenoms for each one. The phenoms are basically all of the mouth shapes representing all the parts of speech. And then there's the eyes closed. So it's the same as the eyes open uh, images, except that the eyes are closed, obviously. About the only one that's ever really used is the rest um, face um, because the eyes close only, actually usually only makes the eyes close during a rest period, i.e. between words. So if you've got a rest one, be sure and add that. So once you're done there, click OK. Then you need to go to a sequence. So we're going to create a new sequence. I'll just create an animation. Now, obviously, if you're going to sing faces, you're probably going to have a musical one. But uh, I'll demonstrate that real quickly. So on new timing, I'm just going to put a timing mark here. Now, this is not really the point of the video, but um, creating a, mu a, a lyric track is a, is a whole video in itself. So let's just quickly create some lyric track. So that's the phrase. We'll break down the phrase into the words. And then we're gonna come over here and break down the words into phonemes. The phonemes are what actually does the singing. So these are the ones that match up to those images, all right? So once we have that, you have a completed parrot symbol, which is uh, uh, represents that we have a completed um, lyric track that we can use. Now I'm gonna go down to my Garage matrix. Um, oh, my groups. Matrix, matrix, matrix. Here we go. Matrix garage left. Now we imported it only to the garage left. That means that face is only available there. You'd have to repeat the process if you wanted it on any other elements like my garage right or garage left. So once you have the face, it's up here on the face effect. You'd want to select the timing track to match the timing track over here. You would want to do, I think that's about it. I mean, the face definition is obviously the one we added, Santa. So there you go. And if I click on the center of the effect, you'll see that his mouth will open and close as it progresses through the words. Um, some simple changes you might want to look at is transformation. You could say flip it horizontal. And now all of, a sudden, it's, all of a sudden Santa sings to the other direction. So if you have a tree that's on the left side, you might want him singing towards the center of your house, for example. Another thing is to go with um, uh, the uh, buffer settings. So right now it's obviously using up the entire garage matrix. Depending on the singing face, you might wanna do 
you know, have two singing faces, one on the left half. Now, remember, I flipped it horizontal. So left half really means the right half here. So I'm going to just reset that so it's not too confusing. So there's the left half, or I can say halves and make it the right half. So maybe I'm going to have Santa singing on this half and a snowman singing on this half. So a couple of simple tricks you can do. Um, matter of fact, why don't I show you quickly how to do that? So insert layer below. I'm going to drag the face effect down to here. And then I'm going to make him sing on the other half. So that'd be the left half. So now I have two singing faces on the same uh, lyrics, obviously. But you get the idea. You get two singing faces on your matrix. Um, that works well if you have a, a big palette to work from, you know, a bigger matrix uh, that has the resolution that you need. Um, that's it. I, that's all I had for today. Hope that helps that some new folks with singing faces and how to grab them from the X Lights repository and uh, how to quickly add them to your sequences. So have a great day and see you in the Zoom room.